What's up guys, this is Rick Slight signed in and welcome back to House of a Thousand Doors, Serpent Flame. Now we're on the extras menu as you can see right here because I just tried to record this now. Obviously because I will try and test out what works best on the computer and all the faster stuff of it. <clears throat> and I finally figured it out with his original settings to by the way, so because I've already like did the last segment of the game, I'm going to have to um, do it all now to be honest. So fortunately so that's basically what happened is when I picked up from the game, I um just go to the puzzles because there isn't many games. See I do I did like so I started off with this puzzle, so I'm gonna show you what I did when playing the puzzle. So first of all God, why does it feel so slow with the mouse? I switched these round. Well, I fucked this up already. There we go. And then I mixed and matched everything that needed to be because I kind of had to, you know? So um, it was a little bit tricky at first, but then I got used to it. I still can't fucking figure out where things go still. Even though I know, like, base, the base premises of it, I think. No, is that that? No, them two need to switch around. There we go. <clears throat> so that's how we did that one. And then this one was obviously obvious. So, no, it's... That's... All right. There we go. Sorry. Basically, all you gotta do is like look around on the on the um, skins kind of thing. That's not there. God's sake! I'm like, oh my god, I'm fucking sick of this. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, can that go down here? Yeah. Okay, so that goes down here with it. That goes in the corner. That comes down here, I think. Nope. Turn that around. I know that goes in the middle. Because, um, basically, look around the edge. Like, on this one, was a little bit more trickier. So, this one, I'll show you. Like So, basically, you got to look for this brown part, which is over here, obviously. And then, the next part you need to look for is, like, the thickness of it. And basically, and then, obviously, you're trying to round up on this one with a brown piece, obviously. And it's trying to curl back into the tail, of course. So that one's just cutting it off, and then, obviously, switching those two around for that one. Now, this one was a little bit tricky, because I think the head's in the middle. Or is it down bottom? Okay. Now you can work with the head a little bit more. Just need to figure out where the head starts more than anything. Right, that one was the one that goes there. Then it needs to kill round so it goes there. Then he's carrying on killing up to the tail. There we go. Swap them two round, then we're done. And obviously it opens up and inside is this Q piece. Which obviously we picked up. And then went on to doing not that one. These are all to do later, so I don't know what those are. So we went on to do this one. Which at first I thought I had to like... Obviously I put all the pieces in now, so I thought I had to go like red, green, yellow. But obviously it's not that hard, to be honest. I'm making it feel hard now. And how I'm acting like that. But, nah, it was all simple, to be honest. Not that tricky, though. As I originally thought it would be. Wrong way. What am I doing? There we go. Not that hard now anymore. Right. Turn those two around because that's easy. Come on. Come on, you two. Work with me here, lads. I think I fucked up somewhere. <laughs> these aren't turning properly. Alright, let's mix and match these a little bit more. I need to try and switch those two around somehow. And it's hard to do this. Right, there we go. No. Fuck. Me. Sideways. So you don't know what this skip one is here for, but... <clears throat> now let's try and redesign all this to get completely now. Because this is what you need to do. Like, see, when you switch one, you got to switch another. To try and make it all work out, so... There we go. Now we can do it. This is what I had going on, you see. And then, simple from there... Now behind that was a like a staff kind of thing, so I'm gonna switch over to the cutscenes real quick. But then it might that is the thing what I found there. This here is what I found. So what, what would have happened when I put that? There's no talking this one. I've seen this cutscene quite a few times now, which is quite boring. From there, obviously, we just ended up having that. 
I think I missed something out on one of these puzzles, didn't I? Not that one. No, that's right. Yeah. Because we've got another puzzle somewhere, but I don't know where it is. There was the black backgammon puzzle, but it just didn't give me anything. So anyway, after that, we, um... We put the stone back. Then this is the area where we are now. So basically, we put the stone back. And then, um, the guy who was sleeping came over, came round to us, and then he was speaking to us. And he was awake and all that shit. So and he gave us, like, this, like, little metal sheet. And we put the metal sheet in here. And then we got the fifth element. With the fifth element, it destroyed the entire gate thing. Well, obviously, no, sorry, he gave us something. And it also had to include with this puzzle here. And then in here there was something significant. So he gave us that little piece. And like this metal sheet. To get something somewhere. And this is why. Okay then so. This took me some time last time to do this. But if I just like click around I should be able to do it. No problem whatsoever. Because it's not that tricky to be honest. It is annoying because I've got to like try and shift things around. Try and get them in there rightful spots, of course. And then you get fucked over like this. And you're like trying to mess around, trying to get to place, back to the places where they belong. Which is not easy to do, to be honest. Now at this point, I fucked up. Again, I'm always fucking up at this fucking puzzle. Well, not always, but I've done it. I've... It took me some time to figure it out. Right, I need to try and switch those two around. Because I need to shift that somehow. Because all I'm doing now is clicking this fucking around in circles. God sake, I always do that! It's quite annoying, this puzzle. I did manage to do it, though. If Believe me, I, it fucking took time. But I managed to do it. Right, now I'm going to have to try and... I need to move this. But I can't move it just yet. Because I need to move these out of the way. And I can't move anything else. What the fuck? I glitched it. Is that where that needs to be? I hope. I broke it. I broke it. Um. Oops. It broke. <laughs> but, um. Basically, I did. I saw it out like this, then in the middle, you get like a bag, get a blurb. This sheet of piece of paper which took you to the backgammon board, which put all the pieces there and it gave you. Um, what did it give you? Oh, that's right. So I went back to the dude who woke up from the sleep. He gave me this like metal sheet and he gave me the thing that goes into this. And then. From there, it gave me a cutscene, didn't it? No, no, no. But, uh, from there it... Oh, what did it do now? I remember, I'm trying to remember what happened. That's right. No, that's not right. Went into another portal somewhere, that's what happened. Okay, so... He gave me the back gamma sheet from doing all that, so he gave me that like, little piece. That's that little weird rose thing. So I put it in the puzzle what we just seen down here, wherever it is, into this one. And from there I got a back gamma sheet. The back gamma sheet I take to the bedroom to the back gamma puzzle, which is apparently not in this mini game somewhere somehow. I don't know. Then from there I got like this little glowing blue orb that then took me into another portal area, which I had to talk to the light ones. From them, they gave me um, the key, and then with the key, I unlocked this. Like the keys in this statue now, all pieces around. Me. This one.
and then it took us back to this page saying that we beat the game and that we unlocked the bonus chapter now because obviously last time I didn't I, did, I just ended the video after beating the main game but because all I've been doing so far is talking I'm going to start the bonus chapter right now I've only got 10 minutes to this is like a free of what happened the house got burnt down or something guy saved me. So I don't know what happens here. This is all new to me. I'm guessing this is what is happening for him now he's in his like, little dream world, I think. Is that still the same book? It looks like the same book. Let's go talk to this guy. Raphael, you're in danger! Talk to this guy as well and when we getting out of it won't be easy! You expended all of your energy rescuing the human. Now your fears are gripping your conscience. To wake up, you must defeat them! Hurry! Earth will die without your help! Okay, so... Every slot is closed I need to Okay then, so it's like what we had to do in the first one then is it was still some secrets. No, there's a symbol on the rock I wonder what it is. Okay, there's a little ribbon, this banner is torn to pieces. Ah This is where that that banner is torn to pieces. Okay, can you use a rocket one of these? No? Alright then, so I don't know what I'm doing in here already. Okay, let's have a look at the mini map. It's a giant fucking snake. So wait, what? I could go from the... What? Makes no sense. Now, I want to go back a little bit. That just looks all new to me. I can go in here. Bear traps. I'm afraid of stepping like in a trap. I just bring them over. Point. I need three stones to do that? Why can't I just reuse the one I've already used? Alright then. probably think I'm like, I carry something across this. Fuck you! No, it wouldn't! Oh, you lying little shit. Raphael, they don't like you already. Okay, we'll go in here. Uh, another stone? Another stone. Something is buried here, I want to dig it out. Okay then, but let's go back to these guys at the house. Okay. I like I'm collecting stones. Yay, we're all good. Now we can go inside. What? Can't remove that with my fingers. What? I'll take the wedge though. I need a hammer, don't I, so I can open things. Let's go do to see what's in here then. All new stuff for me to see. There's a compass, there it is. There's a bell. I'm gonna have to use my eyes. Like in the music. What's this? I'll take a hammer. No, I don't see no bell. I'm not trying to... There's some binoculars somewhere. There's gotta be something we can move. Or somehow. Back, of course. So we're still going to that bell over there. Canteen. It's like a drinking canteen, isn't it? Why do you put things all the way down the fucking bottom of the map? Where it's like, oh yeah, I want to click this, but no, that's obviously not going to be a thing, is it? Can't see the bell. That's a canteen. Can't see the bell anymore. We're going to get a necklace. I can't see no necklace anywhere. Have a look in here. No necklace, no bell in here. There's a fork in here though. There's no matches, I've seen matches somewhere, I believe. I don't fucking know. I didn't know you could do that. That's new to me.
That is weird. Don't do that to me again, please. I'm not supposed to be looking for matches here or anything. Or something that's just not there. Horn? Watch? I've seen the watch. A bell, necklace, horn and matches. For there's the bell as well. Now there's a necklace and a horn. If I can find the horn. Or a necklace. There we go. Now we can use this to find the necklace. I would have never thought that would be a necklace. At all, so what did I get from this? A hammer. No, nope, you're gonna stick the wedge in then? No. Nope. Alright. So what's over here then? Oh god. Well what is it? Well, what do we do? Oh okay. Something is missing on that, so. Alright, and we we can't do anything in there then. What the fuck is this? What is that? What is any of this? Okay. Oh, don't know what I need that for. What's this? To remove the spikes I need a tool. I have a wedge. I have an ammo. There we go. We can move forward now. Yay! Finally, anyway. Okay, let's see what's in this next area. The seagull is injured in its wing. I can't fly. No? Well, what the hell do you want me to do about it then? There's nothing I can actually do. Not this. Needle in thread. Now that all might be able to help me. Right, I need these seals because there's loads of them. The lights are red, the fairy mate might not come. I can't carry water in my house. What's this? A bell goes here. You're fucking useless, you Raphael. Fiki, maybe. Can I dig anything up in here? With this all maybe? Can I put anything on this statue? No? Alright. We go in here then, to do anything with these. Right. Let's go, go start collecting them all. One more. That's too high. Okay then, that's fine. That tail is too high for your reach. You need to knock it off the beam. Alright then, so there's nothing in there for me to use. Can I do anything in here? Anything at all? Apparently it's nothing to do with it. Okay. Please. A bell. No, I need a bell. This. Didn't I? Yeah. Ding ding! We need a clapper for the bell. Alright, anyway guys, we'll leave that there now because I want to finish this off in the next video. Well, not finish it off in the next two videos and it'll be done. Because this is just like a side plot, obviously, the backstory of what happened while Raphael was sleeping. Anyway guys, that was the end of high high school. No idea what I was thinking then. High worry high school warriors, apparently. What the fuck? This is this is out of a thousand doors three. And as always, it's like signing out.